Hey all, it's Gary from Coffee Fusion and today I thought I'd share three quick tips to improve your coffee at home. Now these tips should be pretty easy to implement and I think I've listed them in order of importance. I'd be keen to hear what you think. First off, if you don't currently have a grinder, this is the biggest improvement you can make to your home brewing. Ground coffee has so much more surface area than whole beans and will oxidize quickly once exposed to air. The other big advantage of having a grinder is that you can make adjustments to your grind size to make sure you're getting a balanced extraction for however you're brewing. For example, with an espresso machine, it's quite normal to have to adjust the grind slightly in order to get a good flow rate. And as the coffee ages, you might notice you have to make a couple of adjustments to the grind, usually finer, in order to keep that coffee extracting well. Now, if you buy pre-ground coffee, it will be ground to an approximate grind size for your equipment, but it is impossible to get the perfect grind size for your specific brewer or machine. If you're investing in coffee gear, it's often said to put a quarter of your budget into the grinder. It's that important. And as you buy more expensive gear, a more expensive grinder will allow you to make minute changes to the grind that really help you nail that extraction. If you have to buy pre-ground coffee, at least go for some freshly roasted pre-ground coffee. And this leads me to point number two. Make this the year that you only buy coffee with a roast date. Freshly roasted coffee has much more unique flavor. Even the freshest coffee from the supermarket is often a couple of months old already, with most of the bigger name brands more likely to be six months plus since their actual roast date. Now in the first week after roasting, the coffee is degassing, which means it's releasing carbon dioxide. This is due to such big chemical changes in the bean as a result of the roasting process, and this settles down after a week. For any pressurized extractions like espresso or stovetop, you're better off letting the coffee degas for that first week and then using it from one week through to about four weeks of age. For more gentle brew methods like pour over, you can get brewing a couple of days after roasting. Now you can still make coffee with older beans, but I always say it's pretty easy to buy a month's supply of coffee 12 times a year to make sure you're drinking coffee at its best. In terms of coffee quality, the term specialty coffee defines coffee with a Q grader score of 80 plus. This is an evaluation system by the Coffee Quality Institute used to rank coffees by quality so that farmers can get an appropriate amount of money for the quality of their product. There's a huge difference in taste between a coffee that scores 80 points and 85 points and 90 plus coffees are truly exceptional rare coffees. So if you want to ensure you're drinking great quality coffee, ensure that it is current crop coffee, which means it was harvested in the last year, it has an 80 plus coming score and it's freshly roasted. If you want to try some freshly roasted high quality coffee, I have a free sample pack available when you sign up to my subscription. Just cover shipping to get the coffee in your hands and I'm shipping Australia wide. After you're grinding fresh and using quality fresh beans, the next biggest change to brewing has been using scales. By using scales to brew, it is much easier to get consistent with your brewing. You can follow a recipe for however you're making coffee, which means you have a method to repeat your high quality results every time. And if there's something wrong with your coffee, you can also know which adjustment you need to make in order to make the next cup better. Now, if you don't weigh your brewing, there are too many variables that could have made your coffee good or bad. As an example for this, when brewing espresso, people don't realize that a one gram difference to the dose in your portafilter will have about a four second difference to your extraction time. So this means that if you are just eyeballing how much coffee you're putting in your portafilter basket, you will have a hard time pulling consistent shots. In spite of it looking like you have the same amount of coffee in the basket each time, it can be very easy to have plus or minus one gram compared to what you think you're dosing. So instead of brewing this way, get yourself a scale which is accurate to 0.1 of a gram. If you don't already have one in your kitchen, you can get a pretty cheap digital scale that will help you brew coffee much better. I remember when I got my Akaya scales in the Kickstarter closer to 10 years ago now, it made a dramatic difference to the consistency of my coffee brewing at home. At the time, I already had a nice machine and a great home grinder, but being able to dose consistently really took my coffee to the next level. So these were three quick tips to improving your coffee at home. Did you already do all these? Or do you have another tip that you think is really important? Let me know in the comments below and check out my Home Barista Bootcamp playlist if you have an espresso machine and want to make better coffee at home. Keep frothing!